Linda Nolan says she is about to start taking a wander drug for her brain tumors, which she hopes will give her more time following her heartbreaking diagnosis. The Irish singer, 64, fears it's now a one-way trip after her incurable cancer, first diagnosed six years ago, was found to have spread to her brain. Linda received the devastating news six weeks ago, where doctors warned her not to compare herself to her late sister Bernie, who died following a battle with breast cancer age 52 in 2013. I've had radiotherapy and soon I'll be starting a drug for brain tumors, which is being nailed as a wander drug, alongside another chemo drug. When I was on chemo in 2020 I stayed on it until I couldn't handle it. So if it's working, we'll go with it. Anything that'll give me time, she told Women magazine. She added, they keep telling me not compare myself to Bernie, because 10 years have gone by and they didn't have these drugs then. The singer was first diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer in 2005 before getting the all clear in 2006, but in 2017 was diagnosed with a form of incurable secondary cancer in her hip, which later spread to her liver in 2020. She has lost her husband Brian and younger sister Bernie to the disease, and watched eldest sister Anne successfully fight it. Since her diagnosis, Linda has been trying to stay positive and has received support from her celeb pals. Elton John was clearly so moved by Linda's bravery, he tracked down where she was staying through a mutual friend and sent her a large bouquet from him, his husband David Furnish and their sons. Elton John sent me a gorgeous bouquet of flowers. It was a lovely boost, she said. Bobby Crush sent me flowers, as did Paul from the Chuckle Brothers. It's heartwarming, it shows people are with me. Linda has just finished 11 radiotherapy sessions, and is on steroids awaiting the results of a second MRI scan to see if the brain tumors have shrunk. Then she will start taking new chemotherapy drug Tucatinib, to give me more time. Linda told the Sunday Mirror, she does not want to know how long she has left, but is confronting death for the first time. I am positive, but I have my moments when I slide down the wall in a heap, she admitted. What happens? Is it dark, are you on your own? I'm frightened of the unknown and being on my own, I have always been with people. I'm frightened to cry in case I don't stop sometimes. i